Good day, good day, good day everyone. We are here once again in Virtual Distance Skills with another delicious meal on Skill Matter. Today we are going to be looking at how to make pepe soup. Whichever meat you like using. But for me, I want to use okay to make today's pepe soup. Right here, as you can see, the things I'm using to make the toki. This is the toki itself. As you can see, I cut it bit by bit, little by little, so that it will be very easy for whoever that is chewing it to chew it. I didn't cut it big, big, cut it small, small, bit by bit, little by little. This is it, okay? This is my chopped onion and uh, fresh pepper. I don't want to blend it smooth. That's why I chop it small, small with onion together. This is salt to test. This is my seasoning cube. This is my ehiru. I'm using ehiru. I don't want to use too much spices. Too much spices in this uh, pepper soup. I'm going to use only ehiru as a spice and uh, thyme. This is ehiru. That is what my people call it. And in some parts of the uh, Nigeria, they call it ihu. But where I'm from, it is called Ehiru, and in English, it is called Calabash Nut Milk. So, this is the branded Calabash or the blended Calabash Nut Milk. I've blended it already. This is how it looked like before blending. This is my time. And the leaf I'm going to be using in this uh, pepe soup is a uh, scent leaf. I've not cut it. This is a fresh scent leaf i'll cut it as time goes on so right now i will pour my turkey inside the pot this turkey remember i said i have already washed it i've washed it already and then cut it to my to the size i like you might cut your own to any size you like but it's very good for you to cut it little by little so that when the person eating it will eat it, it will not look so hard or difficult. So, right now we are going straight uh, the turkey inside the pot. The next thing I will allow the turkey to bring the first water from the body first before I add my own water. And I've added the chopped onion and pepper. Then I add my seasoning cube just to get the real taste of the meat itself. I add a little salt, just a pinch of salt because of the spices or because of the egg glue that I'm using. I stir very well. I stir it very well so that the pepper and the onion will enter the meat well. So, and I will cover and allow it for let's say two minutes or five minutes so that the chick the turkey water will come on its own before I add my own water. Be right back. 
right now as you can see the water is out it has boiled out you can see how the chopped onion and pepper is doing good to the meat now i want to add my thyme I don't still want to add much time. I just want to add a little time to the meat. You know, meat without time is just rubbish. So after the time, I add the real water I needed for the kitty soup. I'm going to add just water to the level of the meat. You know, it's not good to over add water to the meat so that the meat will not be testing water water. So I'm adding water to the level of the meat. As you can see it. Then after adding the water, you now cover and allow the meat to cook to the tender part of it. Right now after adding the water, you stir very well. You can see what I'm doing. You stir very well and cover for about 10 to 15 minutes. You know this is talking. It's not ordinary meat, so it doesn't take time to cook. So you allow it for 10, 20 minutes to cook very well and become tender before you add other things. And as and as I just cover to add, I will start cutting my scent leaves so that it will be ready before the next thing because it's gonna be the next thing to add on and my eat. Right now, it's up to 15, 20 minutes. I want to add up my Calabash not milk, that is a heel. I stir very well. I stir it very well. I add my scent leaf at once. Stir again. I'll cover for like five minutes. And after the five minutes, the pepper soup is ready. Yes, it is ready. Another thing you can also put in this thing to spice it up or to make the color look so nice, your sweet pepper. If you put your sweet pepper in this thing, now you see how nice the color will also look. It will bring out the color the more. As you can see, the uh, fresh pepper, the Amorenum pepper, I put it, I chopped it, how it's showing here. It's looking so good. I'm going to use this now to enjoy my white rice. Right now, I'm going to use this to enjoy my white rice. Some people use it to eat a bar. Some people use it to eat yam or plantain. My, I'm going to use it now to enjoy white rice. If you have not tried your pepper soup, if you, if you have been using English spices to cook your pepper soup, just try this particular one. Use a hero that is calabash nut milk and cook your pepper soup. You will see how nice it tastes. And you will never use any other spice apart from this. Cook yours and let, send me the video and let me see. And I want to also know, because when I was googling about this calabash nut milk, I saw that a lot of people was calling it different names. What is a huru or calabash nut milk called in your local language? Comment down below in my YouTube video, on this particular video. Let's keep the conversation going. If you have not subscribed to this channel, this is the best time for you to do so. If you like this video, please share it for everyone to see that which you also see. Please, if you in our video and you don't drop your comment, drop your comment and also give us a thumb up. Like our video. As you do, you will be blessed. Thank you for watching.